thank you. God practice today. God practice right. So right on the screen, I am having my drink right. So this is the drink table, right. So we have the uh, mobile drink table yes, and which you can really carry about you understand of several dimensions. And we have a, a standard drink table, right. So but for today's class I am going to be using uh yeah a standard drink table, right. Okay, so that being said here I have my T square, yeah. This particular instrument is known as not as well as T square, having a T stock at the edge, right? So, and this particular T square is can come in various materials ranging from plastic to wood and to metal, as you are saying, right? So, this is a T square. So, for today's class, we'll be looking into how to set our drawing paper on the drawing paper here in technical drawing or engineering drawing. You don't just uh, mount your paper on the table and start with your drawing. No, you need to ensure that your paper aligns. You understand? So, how do we do that? So, take a very good look at this. You know, the edges of the T square here is what is perpendicular. Yeah? This metal part is perpendicular to this plastic part, right? So, what does that imply? That implies that the angle here is what is 90 degrees. So, my paper also must be perfect in that manner, right? So this is my drawing sheet, okay? So placing my T square on the drawing sheet here. Yeah. So the very first thing you need to take note of is you must ensure that your T square flushes here. Yeah. You must ensure it aligns, it flushes with the edge of your what of your drawing table, such that you can easily what slide this toe and fro, top and bottom. So if you place your T square in this manner. And there is a gap here like this. No, you are going to have a wrong drawing throughout, right? So ensure you avoid this kind of error, such that by the time you are going to run to this way, there will be gap. No, there shouldn't be any gap in between your words, your uh, the stock of your square and those and the edge of the it must be what it must be closely knitted in this manner, right? So after doing that, how do we set our paper? So you are going to align your square to the edge of your paper. Yeah, take a look at this now. Aligning it to the edge of this paper, see, you can see that it is square. See, see the distance between here and here and here. You can see that it is not the same. So, how do I set my paper to ensure I have a perfect drain? I am going to align the edge of my paper to the edge of this T square, right, in this manner. So, my T square properly mounted, I am going to keep adjusting this paper. Okay, so as you can see, take a look at this. You can see now. So this is what this is properly aligned. Yeah, I can remove it. Maybe shift it downward a little bit. Then uh, have a very good look at this. Okay, have a very good look at this. Okay, so having this now. Okay, so it is the paper that you adjust in this. Uh, in this case, we adjust the paper such that it aligns. Aha. Uh -huh. So looking at this now, this paper is what is properly set. So what is the next thing to do? The next thing is to pick either your clip, yeah, or a tape, yeah, a shallow tape, yeah, a shallow tape, or use what, or use a clip, or use what, or use a pin to what to hold down the paper on the what on the drawing table. So in this case, I'm going to what I'm going to use a tape, yeah, in this form, right? So I'm just going to tear uh, some amount and put it at the four edges or uh to my own satisfaction or convenience right so have a look at the top here i am going to place one here okay to attach that paper to the area over there right ensuring that uh the t square doesn't shake you understand ensuring that there is still an alignment here right so i'm going to do the same thing to the opposite corner over here right so Applying the same thing, then I can now slide my T square, slide it upwards. Yeah, so I'm going to ensure that my paper doesn't warp. Yeah, warping, I mean, having this kind of form before I take the two edges. You see, squeezing in the middle, no, ensure it doesn't warp, ensure it's what the paper is what is smooth. Okay, so I can now take this area, making it the third aspect, then the other end here. Okay, so making it the, what, uh, the fourth side. Okay, making it the fourth side there. Okay, so after doing that, what is the next thing you need to do before you start your construction? 
Okay, the very next thing you need to do is to produce what is called a borderline. Yeah, a borderline. Okay, so that borderline is also known as what? It's also known as the boundary line. Okay, so how do we produce our borderline? How do we produce our borderline? From the four edges of our paper, right, of our drawing sheets, we are going to pick our ruler, right, and measure a distance of one centimeter or 10 millimeters. All right, measure a distance of one centimeter or 10 millimeters. Okay, take a look at this. So, from this edge, here, I am measuring what from the edge of my paper, here, I measured what one centimeter or what or 10 mm in words. All right, that is then that is on the horizontal plane. Then on the vertical plane, also, I measure what from the edge of my paper, I measure what one centimeter or what or 10 millimeters. All right. So after doing that, you are going to do the same thing on the other two edges at the top here, then towards your towards your uh, left hand side. So for the one drawn on the horizontal plane here, you use your what your T square because the T square is this what is this what drawing horizontal lines. So I'm going to what, draw this now. Okay, you draw with your T square. So. After drawing with your T square, I am going to advise you to draw with your thin line first so that you can erase uh, wherever you need to erase if there is uh, any issue along the way. Okay, so you see, I've drawn my boundary line on the horizontal plane. Here. So it remains for me to draw that on the vertical plane. Remember, I have measured what 10 mm from the edge of my paper here. So, how do I draw the vertical line here? Take note of this. We don't use the T square to draw vertical line in technical or engineering drawing. The T square is used to draw only horizontal lines. Why, if you want to draw a vertical line, you make use of your T square in conjunction with a set square. With a set square. Yes, with any of your set square. So, this particular instrument here, right, this is called a set square. And this is the 30 60 degree set square. That is 30 degree by 60 degree set square. This was what gives us an angle 90 here. You understand? Why this second set square is known as the 45 degree set square? Angle 45 degrees here, angle 45 degrees here gives us what gives us angle 90 here. So, to draw this particular vertical line, I am going to what slide in my T square. You understand? Ensure it flushes, ensure it flushes, right? It flushes to the edge of my paper, and what then align this T square now, maybe in this manner, all right? So, align it in this manner, and what then. Ensure it sits on that point of ten. Then I can what I can now what draw my what draw my vertical line. I can draw my vertical line now. So do you see now? You see that I what I have the vertical line right there now. All right. Okay. Right now you can see towards the right and corner here. I am having what a vertical line and what and an horizontal line which stands as my what which stands as my borderline and if you will recall i said the distance of these lines from the edge of the paper is what is 10 millimeters or what or one centimeters right so